Yeah, I'm in the lab, man. Hey, we're gonna talk about atheists and agnostic people. We're gonna talk about atheists and agnostic people. And like, this is gonna be a video that's different because I haven't heard too many people with this point of view talk about the subject of atheist and agnostic people. My phone is in airplane mode, but I'm still getting texted calls. What the fuck? Like, that's the purpose of airplane mode. How the fuck am I getting texted calls? Anyway, so we're going to talk about atheists and agnostic people and how they're ignorant. And it's okay. I'm not coming for y'all. I'm not down to y'all. If you're atheist or agnostic, you're ignorant, you know? And that's okay because I got you. I'm going to help you out. This is not trying to shade you. I'm not trying to shade you. I was just trying to help you understand because I think atheists, when I hear atheists or agnostic, I'm just like, oh, they don't believe in God or they don't believe there is a God. Or some of them believe in a God, but they believe it's in a supreme being that they don't know about. So I, I got you. This this going to this gonna help you out because not too many people talk about this from this perspective. So I got you. I got a good perspective. I love my perspective. It's different. You're going to love my perspective, too. So let's jump right into this. So atheists believe there's no God, I think. And agnostic people, they don't know if there is a God or there isn't a God or Elohim, I think. But pretty much, you don't believe in God. That's what I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you atheists, you're like, there is no God or you don't believe in God. Or if you're agnostic, you, you believe there is a God, but you just don't know who it is. But you know there's a supreme being, I think. But you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're an atheist or agnostic, you know, you don't believe in God or whatever. You don't believe in the Jewish God. You don't believe in the Islam God. You don't believe in the Christian God. So that's pretty much it. You just, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to tackle that right now. And I'm going to tell you why atheists and agnostic people are lost. And I'm going to go through the process of it. So um, I can understand why somebody would be an atheist or agnostic. I understand. Because what happens is, Atheists or agnostic people, I'm guessing on this part. This part I'm guessing on, but if I had to guess, they looked at Christianity, they looked at Islam, and they looked at Judaism, and it was like, oh, this shit flaw. This shit cap. This shit flaw, this shit cap. I don't know what like, man. They're looking at it like, what the fuck? And so they saw those big three religions and was like, nah, bro, I don't believe in none of that. That shit flaw. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the truth. Christianity, flawed. Islam, flawed. Judaism, flawed. It's flawed. It's flawed, bro. That shit flawed. Yeah, I, I'm going to say it again. Christianity, flawed. Islam, flawed. Judaism, flawed. So, if I'm Muslim, excuse me, if I'm atheist, if I'm agnostic, I'm not going to be a Christian. I'm not finna be a Jew, and I'm not finna be a Muslim. So either I'm gonna believe in nothing, or I'm, I'm sorry, or I'm gonna believe that there's a supreme being out there that I don't know about. And I'm doing this to help the atheists. So atheists or agnostic people, what you gotta understand is that there is a supreme being. But the supreme being is not tied to Islam, is not tied to Judaism, and is not tied to Christianity. Because they're all flawed. Christianity is flawed because they ignored the Greek, when, excuse me, they ignored the, Christianity is flawed because they ignored the Hebrew and they go straight to the Greek. They worship Jesus Christ, which is not Yahusha HaMashiach which is not Yahuwah, Y-H-W-H. They worship Jesus Christ, which is a whole separate being. They'll tell you the same thing. No, it's not. We'll get to that later on, right? And they got Christmas and Easter and Good Friday and church and pastors and bad translations of the Bible. Christianity is flawed, bro. We'll get into that later on. But Christianity is flawed. So that's why atheists or agnostic people look at that and be like, I'm not about to be a Christian because it's flawed. It's man-made. The Romans made that. 
the the Canaanites made that. The Pharisees made that. It's it's filled with leaven. You know what I'm saying? It's filled with leaven. So that shit flaw. Christianity flaw. So atheists and agnostic people saw that and were like, no, that's flaw. Then they saw Judaism. That's Judaism flaw too, because Messiah came. Jews believe that the Messiah hasn't arrived. That's cap. The Messiah has definitely arrived. Yahushua HaMashiach definitely was crucified on the cross. Definitely rose on the third day. So you tripping. You fucking tripping. I said it. I'm standing on business, nigga. It don't turn, nigga. So I said that shit. So that's the flaw of Judaism. Now the flaw of Islam is that Messiah wasn't Elohim. Messiah isn't a part of God. Messiah wasn't one with God. Islam believed that Jesus, I don't, you know, you know how I feel about the word Jesus. I call it Yahusha HaMashiach. You know what I'm saying? So, Muslims believe that Jesus wasn't a part of God, but was a prophet. And that's cap. Elohim is literally has the I am at the end, which makes it plural, which means that there's more than one person, which is Yahuwah and Yahusha HaMashiach. Atheists and agnostics, this is going to help you out because you did good by not subscribing to religion. You did good because that shit cap. That shit false. That shit this. Christianity, this. Islam, this. Judaism, this. So, Muslims, y'all, excuse me, uh, 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 atheists and agnostic, y'all did good by not being a Christian, a Jew, or a Muslim. Y'all did good with that part because that shit cap. That shit cap, bro. So, that shit is this. That shit this. So, y'all did good, but, 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 booty. <laughs> y'all did good, but you didn't go the extra mile. I did. So that's why I'm helping you out. Religion is man-made and y'all avoided that trap. So good job with that. But there is a creator. There is a supreme being. There is a Elohim. The thing about it is the enemy, aka the adversary, perverted the scriptures. They perverted and they deceived the people. So when you see Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, you're looking at man-made deception. So you did good by not falling for that trick or falling for that trap, but you did not do good in realizing that there is a supreme being, which is Yahuwah, Y-H-W-H, Elohim, and Yahushua HaMashiach. You know? And so you have to learn to separate religion from truth. You have to learn to separate religion from scripture. You have to learn to separate the two because it's not intertwined. Because I talk about scripture and people are like, oh, you're a Christian. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Nazarene because I believe in the truth and I am proclaiming the name of Yahuwah Elohim. I understand that the creator created the, the whole world. You feel me? The reason why people are confused on religion is because man made religion and fucked it up and perverted it and twisted it to fit their agenda. That's where all the inconsistencies come from. That's where all the confusion comes from. That's where all the contradictions come from. It comes from man. Not the creator, not the Elohim. So it's my job to tell the atheists and agnostic people, hey, they worship religion. That shit count. But there's a supreme being whose name is Yahuwah Elohim. 
That's why you still need to read scripture and have a spiritual foundation. Now, I know I might have lost some of the atheists and the agnostics. They probably have turned this video off. So whatever, I don't believe that. But a lot of atheists and agnostic people have that inkling. They have that feeling like there is a supreme being, but I'm not going to meet or I'm not going to find that supreme being through religion. So what they do is they just chalk it up to, oh, there's a supreme being. I just don't know who it is. You know what I'm saying? Or my supreme being is just grass and good vibes and positivity. <laughs> so that's cool and all, but check it out. What I need atheists, what I encourage atheists and agnostic people to do is I encourage y'all to erase religion from your mind and understand scripture. Understand YHWH, Yahuwah Elohim, and Yahusha HaMashiach. Understand the creator. Because we have a creator. Do not believe in evolution. That shit is cat. Evolution is this. It is this. Evolution is this. We did not come from no fucking monkeys. What the fuck? We did not come from no fucking goldfish or none of that shit. We come from the creator. The earth is not 6 million years old. There's no gravity. There's no planets. There's no none of that shit. It's the moon, the stars, and the earth, my nigga. Huh? It's the moon, the stars, the earth, and the sun. So I'm, 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 I'm going to make this a series. I'm going to, because I really care about the atheists. You know, Christians or Jews or Muslims try to convert atheists into their belief and your shit flawed. So you're going to take it from one flaw to the next flaw. I'm, I'm piped up. So no, we're not going to do that. We're going to help them with the truth. And we're going to stop letting people be deceived. I'm off the drink, but I'm not off the drink. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know. I'm letting you know that, hey, okay, that's cool. You're an atheist. You're agnostic. I love you. At the same time, you got to understand that you are looking at people join religion and they don't have understanding of what they join because all that shit flawed. I just told you how it was flawed. So, atheists, I'm going I'm to help you all out. Agnostic people, I'm going to help you out because you, you, you know you got that feeling of a creator being here and you know evolution is capped. Ain't no big bang. I got you. <laughs>